Right, welcome back to a brand new Goalanger video, and you know the score. It's ended 3 1 to Reading. A poor performance there, coming off the back of a good win over Luton. It just wasn't good enough to the day. The defending was poor. I know we missed Matt Clark at the back, but what's frustrating me is Matt Clark isn't even our player. Come the summer, he's not going to be here. He's going to be back at Brighton. Whether we'll be able to get him on another loan or not is a different question. We won't be able to afford him. And we rely on him so heavy at the back to put in a decent defensive performance. Ted and Mengi is clearly not at a good enough championship level yet. In my opinion, that is. I think he's a decent defender and he's clearly got the potential. But right now, he does need experience with him along the back four. Wisdom was there in it, but Wisdom, he's too slow, in my opinion. His contract's up in the summer. We're going to have to make that tough decision whether to offer him a new one or not. And I'll be brutally honest, I don't think we should at the end of the day. But... With the financial situation that we're in, maybe we have to offer him a contract to, to keep the number of defenders that we need at the club currently in. Reading, I wouldn't say they were amazing today, but they got the job done. They had their opportunities and they took them. Derby, I think the first half, we edged it in terms of opportunities. We had that spell of three quick shots, which one of them he thought would go in. Definitely the Kazim Richards chance for the third one. But the keeper does really well. I thought the Reading keeper was quality today. Hats off to him. He was amazing in goal but we didn't score from that Reading came forward and I think it was it Elise yeah he scored a, a brilliant goal almost a toe poke into the top left corner I mean not much we can do about that we switch off just into extra time of the end of the first half and Reading go one they're up a bit underserved but they did have a lot of possession but didn't really do much with it the second half they make it 2-0 and I thought the game was over as soon as they did that it was just another goal Marshall Palms it straight into the path. I'm, uh, Marshall's at slightly at fault for that, really, in my opinion. You should try and palm it away from the goal, but he pushes it straight into the penalty area again, and the Reading man's there to tap it in. Lawrence scores a fantastic goal. That's what Tom Lawrence can do. Coming back from injury, that was a fantastic goal. Hits it from the left-hand side, what, 25, 30 yards out, flies into the top right corner. A brilliant goal, and you think, wow, we've got maybe 10 minutes to get something out of this game now, and, and then we go and defend so poorly at the back and it's so frustrating just to see that I mean the ball's in no man's land sorry and Marshall is Marshall comes out doesn't make the decision to come fully out for it the defenders wait and they're hesitant and I think it was Luca Jao the man who always seems to score against Derby every time he he plays against them scores and we're letting the ball bounce in our own penalty area when it's coming in from a cross free kick and it, it was just poor poor defending and we've gone from defending really well against Luton to being really poor against Reading here today. And I think with six games to go now, we've got to improve. Just just so disappointing, really. Defensively, we were poor. And don't get me wrong, I don't think the midfield did too great either. I thought Shinny gave the ball away a lot today and so did Max Bird. But we've got to do better. The final running is coming in and at the moment, we're still looking over our shoulder. I know Reading is sixth, but I still thought we could have done something today against them and gotten a point based on how we played in that first half. But there you go, it just wasn't meant to be today. Let me know what you thought about that game down below, Reading and Derby fans, because I'm not happy. Like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.